<laughs> anyway, who else has done a movie that Gary can crap on? Anything? Roy, have you done one? Nobody. I was in a Civil War documentary on PBS. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, okay. that's true. Really? This was a long time ago, like Which battle? Uh, the Battle of Olusty in Florida. Nice. It wasn't an important one. I was a free Union soldier, and I had to talk with a sleeve accent. <laughs> nice. But here's what's funny about it is that nobody told me that we had to bring our own wardrobe, and I showed up in Jordans. So I was <laughs> the only black person. You had to put some spats the, over yeah. it? No, I fought in Jordans. I kept yeah. it real. So they kept it above, huh? Right. I'm from the future. I came yeah. back in yeah, time. I have, I have a character I developed that I can't do anything with because it would be racist if I did it called the Quantum Leap, which is a black guy who just jumps all over the place into like the worst situations Horrible situations. Ever. And he doesn't know where he's going. And the Quantum funny. Leap, every time he's like, he's on a porch at a hotel and all of a sudden the door opens and it's Martin Luther King. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> he just has to run out of it because he knows what's going to happen. The Quantum? Yeah, the Quantum Leap has to get the hell out of it all the time. But that sounds like a running back's name, by the way. It, that's why I said, I'm like, the Quantum is kind of the a Quantum cool sounding name. Yeah. The Quantum Leap is a black time traveler. But tell him about Captain America, your thought on... Well, you know what? I black like Captain America. Do you right? like Captain America, the black sidekick he has, the Falcon dude? I didn't see the new movie because I thought the first movie was bad, so I didn't really... Uh, they, they redeemed themselves. Did they? They better. redeemed okay. themselves yeah. in a second. He's got a black sidekick, and I respect that because Captain America is the only superhero fighting crime and black unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to tip my hat to that. Plus, like, here's what's amazing about Captain America is that if for people who don't know his story, he's a white dude from the 40s. Right. And he gets frozen in time, and he wakes up in present day. That's how the first movie ends. He right, wakes up right. in present day. He's a white man from the 40s right. who hires a black dude. He, <laughs> what are the odds? He didn't ask a single question about desegregation. Like <laughs> You'd have figured that would have been the first. You freeze any white man from the 40s and thaw him out today. And he's like, what? <laughs> a black president? What? <laughs> the Falcon comes flying in with his jetpack. Oh, my God, they're flying now. <laughs> You'd be freaking out. Negroes. <laughs> Fetch me my shield, boy. <laughs> I don't know if that's how Captain America See, would I'd talk. have seen that one. I'd have gone <laughs> to that one. That would have been that. sweet if he was a plantation yeah. superhero. That's I'm awesome. Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Captain America. Frank Caliendo was on with us last week promoting his appearance on Sullivan and Sons on Tuesday and was just, you know, just whoring it out and saying it was so wonderful to be there. Did you guys enjoy his experience? I'll or was tell you, that dude... I mean, Billy Gardell and I, we had our scenes together. Right. You, you know Billy from Mike and Molly. Right. So we started together, and Caliendo comes on set, and he is just cranking out those voices yeah. the whole time. And we, uh, you know, our first day of rehearsal is Wednesday. I'm thinking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, I'm going to get it out of the system. I'll get all the laughs out. Right. Tuesday, we're filming, still dying laughing yeah. every time he does it. We're trying not to break up the, the cut, right. but he is just yeah, he's And majority of that did get cut. Right, a lot of his stuff because it's yeah, like we, it was, you know, yeah, it's enough. enough it's just him. over the top. <laughs> he comes in here. All we the get time. it. We you get can do Madden. You got Madden <laughs> next. <laughs> Here's a guy who wants a p- permanent position. No, yeah. you're out. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Caliendo's a beast, man. Yeah. And he's yeah. focused. And and I guess I didn't realize how much thought, like the voice actors, like they gave him so much more freedom than I've seen them give any other guest star. Where they just kind of really? wrote in the script. Basically, they should just wrote in the script. Christine Ebersol talks, and then Caliendo does his thing. Like, they really? should have just wrote, do your thing, Frank, in and the script. And then he just went on, did some and stuff, did. and moved it on. Yeah. Oh, how cool is that? He's yeah. one of our, I would say, one of my favorite guest stars. He was great. Is he the coming back? It's his dream to be the uh, somewhere along the line of My side dream kid. is for us to come back. Oh, so okay, let's see. so there you go. Let's try to get you <laughs> back Every first. season, you're always running for re-election, so we'll see what happens. How's Whenever Frank did a joke that didn't work, he's like, I'm doing an impression of a med. So like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Ahmed, please defend yourself. Who, in, who invited you? He invited himself. Like you literally snuck in the car. I have the text to prove. They it. don't want you here. You're not allowed in the building. Look Can you call security and get him is. out of here? Yeah. He's so proud. He's, he's so, laughing. I mean, he's he loves, kidding. He, he really is so proud of himself. Uh, this man carries himself with the confidence of a fifth grade lesbian substitute gym teacher who cuts her own hair. And he's always shredding us. He yeah, dresses like, the exact same way as that. You look like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's got the body of a scallop and he takes us down a peg. Yeah. It's the audacity of him. And you look like Chaz Bono. Yeah. Yeah, Just stop it with all your After the gastric answers. bypass, this is the after photo of Chaz Bono. There you Bono. stink. Just so you know. <laughs> You're an awful human being. You just love that he laughs at the entire time. Oh, you have yeah. no idea. He's, he's, he's bulletproof. Has he ever caught you on a bad day where you actually take a swing? 
No, I would never. Why would I hit somebody who's, you know, I met and I in fairness, we're good buddies. We, we went to one of your That's finest strip clubs a couple nights ago. We went to Band-Aids. Yeah. Wow. wow. That, that is nice. Huh? That is wow. absolutely nasty. Yeah. Bet, yeah, yeah. I was, I, was, I was getting a dance, and I asked the stripper how long she was working until, and she told me till her water broke. <laughs> so, yeah, <absolutely. laughs> My favorite part of Band-Aids is the welcome to the stage blue waffle. She actually she dances at in. the club. She's pretty solid, though. I actually tip her. It's got about a lot of pockets to leave money in. That's when Gary Rush is the stage. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to get her. <laughs> You're the mother of our child. Get off of the stage. Uh, so Sullivan and Sons is, eh, what are we looking at? We're, yes? we're doing well. We're doing well. But we're on Tuesday's. Ten, what is it? Nine TBS Central. Well, I don't, you know, it's so different because I got Direct TV, so I get the East Coast. Thing, so you're, so it's you're like on at seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, so it's on so Tuesday nights. How about Tuesday that? nights? Find it. You got a guide. You can figure this. You out. You got a right? guide, yeah. and it's definitely our best season. And the shows get better and better. And we we actually build towards something this season, whereas they've always been kind of one off. So right. it's actually uh, going to build to something pretty fun. So. Well, there it's pretty you go. cool, but, you but guys we're are, here this weekend. You're we're excited. Stand up live this weekend. How does it work for uh, all all of you guys to go on? I know Gary goes on first. Everybody kind of gets well, and then and then that's the bad part of the show. Right, I was going to yeah. say yeah. that's the part warms that's, people that's up. unwatchable and unfunny. <laughs> it's the beer run, but it's all part of the plan because it's like that's when oh, people go to the bathroom. I see. <laughs> then actually, the fun stuff starts. And we actually brought, brought a blooper reel of culminating our first three seasons that oh, we cool. show at the beginning of the, of the of the show. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a great blooper. It's like six hours, so it's, we call it season three. That's the blooper reel. Yeah. Oh. And I'm not going to say that there's a lot of tickets available for this right. weekend, but we'll take the first 800 callers <laughs> for a nine pack. And he's awake. Yeah. Let's give away some tickets. To and answer he, your question, like, oh, go ahead. Cannon host Steve anchors the show in uh, a med and I in between. Okay. So that's so pretty much the show. And then all... we go up and do some fun interactive stuff on the back end of the oh, show cool. as a whole. We come out. As a group, okay, and then, oh, so everybody comes out at the end, yeah, it's, it's, except yeah. Gary. Well, Gary's got three jokes. You know, where <laughs> right. you from? The crappy town. Kohl's, you right. shop at Coles. Uh, I was I was Coles guy last time he was <laughs> he here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. He pointed at me as the Coles guy. <laughs> I was fine with that. People do come up to me years later and they say, I was here like eight years ago and I was the Coles guy. <laughs> that yeah, tells like you how much later. you've written <laughs> in eight right. years. You've been doing My the Coles joke. joke is brand new, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll soak that out <laughs> to 20. You'll stretch that to a good 20 minutes. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. now we have 16 and a half minutes. <laughs> you know the worst part of being a comedian and actually falling into the trap you just fell into? You know, for like 12 years, people have been coming up saying, I was the Coles guy and you're still doing <laughs> it. It, it might was Mervyn's be time. Yeah, it used to be Mervyn's, California. Mervyn's? Yeah, and then What's I upgraded. Maybe Coles goes out of business. Maybe JCPenney, if they're still around, I guess. Good luck. TJ uh, yeah. Maxx. Ross. That Do- always stays Dollar around. store. Yeah. It started as Miller's Outpost, moved over to Mervyn's. <laughs> Here he is in Coles. We'll see where he ends up at the end of the day. Around. So, I, honestly, though, I want to say before Gary ruins it, that documentary was really insightful. Oh, right. It was really good. I really thanks enjoyed for, it. And, and the back. ending was pretty solid. No, I wanted to talk to you about that because it was pretty cool. It was actually like, I, I, when I first watched it, I'm like, oh, no, this is going to be one of those. <laughs> well, you do because you don't know what to expect. It's going to be one of those things where it's trying to tell me how much everybody there is the same. But it was the opposite. It's like, yeah. no, this is different. And we're melding. different for doing it. I wish, they, I wish my, uh, my peers would appreciate it as much as you do. I did because you, you went over to, the, to tell people, you went over to the Middle East, or Beirut. Uh, we went to uh, Dubai, Lebanon, Egypt, Saudi Arabia. Uh, Whitney Cummings came with yeah. me, and Tom Papa, and uh, Maz Jabrani, Eric Griffin, yeah. a bunch of American comics. It was fun. Yeah, and Roy when he was a lot thinner. If Roy. I remember correctly, no, that was Tommy. That was Tommy I'm sorry, I confused us. No, but it was really good because the like the, the the rules, like you, there's clear fear in your eyes on a couple of things. Like if we go the wrong way, what's going to happen yeah. to us? You can't cuss, you can't yeah. do anything. Saudi so, Arabia and some of those countries. By the way, we, we did we've done a few USO tours, and when we go, so when we tour, we go airport to airport on this comedy tour. And Ahmed's nickname on this tour has become Mail Assist. <laughs> um, Random what? search. Yeah, they leave me at the airport when I get stuck. They're just like, we'll see you in whatever city we're in. Hopefully, yeah, they're just gonna meet us there. there. <laughs> but when we go on the USO tours to the Middle East, yeah, they get stopped. We <laughs> get stopped, and he zips right through. It's bizarro universe. They're like, hey, you're one of us. Yeah. Come in. Mail Assist is like the greatest nickname ever. Yeah. <laughs> you're Mail Assist. Just Mail Mail Assist. Mail assist. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gary's nickname is Female Assist. Yeah. <laughs> they, they say to Ahmed, come on, you're like one of us. They too aren't funny. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you here? <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> All weekend long at Stand Up Live, you can see this unfunny, Roy, unwatchable person. Welcome. Roy has decided to roll up his sleeves. What's going on? Why are you doing that? New ink? I don't know. Just getting, <laughs> getting see, tough. He's toughening up a little <laughs> bit. Tough. It's starting to get a little hot. Yeah, you know. All right, we'll, we'll, be perf- we'll be literally taping. We tape our shows in front of a live studio audience. Some people think it's it's laugh track or whatever, but we right. film in front of an audience. And Gary is our audience warm-up 
Uh, right. He's there to entertain the crowd, quote unquote, and <laughs> try to entertain. The he crowd. literally will trash us the whole time. We're all experienced stand-up. Com- we go up right. into the into the audience and try to trash Gary. They have his side. Yeah, they're with him. The yeah. audience has his side. It's First crazy. It's like the audience yeah. god. This is this is how evil <laughs> Gary is. Mid scene, I'm eating pretzels uh-huh. as part of my <laughs> acting. Right, your stand up yes, your this preparation. This is part of my process. Right. By the way, his process really is eat. Brad Pitt and Ocean's Eleven. Brad yeah. Pitt is always eating something. That's, oh. that's always Yeah, every scene. Because it just keeps me amused. <laughs> and I'm eating a pretzel. I go to deliver my line. I start coughing, like gagging, like eyes watering, coughing. Right. Room falls silent. Gary Cannon, first voice you hear. How funny would it be if he died? <laughs> And then, <laughs> and they laugh. <laughs> He's right. Laugh. It's the crowd rooting for my death. That's how much they're wrapped around his finger. When I come out, he goes, how about for Steve Byrne? He studied at the Rob Schneider Dramatic <laughs> Academy of the Arts. It's like, dude. He always what? starts out with sincere intros. Hey, everybody, that's Ahmed down there on the floor. Uh, you can check out his website, Sinbad.com. <laughs> or I'll say you obviously know Ahmed from nothing else. Although that's true. That, but, jo- uh, that, jo- that joke died. I would, I would invite <laughs> you guys to come see a taping of the show, but you guys have never been in prison, so you would not feel welcome in that audience. <laughs> You guys don't have face tattoos. Do you guys feel comfortable that he includes himself when he says Sullivan and Son and then the word we? Yeah. Is that okay no, with you, no, Steve? As hard as you guys are working at the, uh, that Gary says we at Sullivan and Sons? Well, it's the same with the co- with the comedy tour. It's like, no, we're the comedians. Right. You're just the buffer up top. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally the You're pink the fluffer. Spoon. Yeah. yeah. We call him the pink spoon. <laughs> He's the spork. He's but, the useless tool. But Steve always makes fun of me. He's like, you're never going to be on our show, and you're always going to be behind the camera. I said, that's no problem. I always want my first show to be a comedy. So there's <laughs> no big deal there. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, man. Sullivan and Sons is Tuesday on TBS. Uh, it, you got to find it on your guide. 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, depends if you get yeah. cable or, or satellite or whatever. Tuesday's on TBS, and uh, Gary is not on it. But if you ever go to a taping, you'll see <laughs> you exactly can come see me. And you can see him this weekend at Stand Up Live. What's going on in your guys' world that you're talking about in the car on the ride over? What's what what's happening just with taking you? taking shots at Gary. That's it. Is this the way it is the whole day? Just just, oh, just, just ripping back. each other constantly? It's it's relentless. It. It's nonstop. But yeah. But it's, it's, it's what makes the tour fun. Yeah, doing? it's been good, man. I mean, Steve got in a day late, so he missed out on the baseball game. We went, we caught oh, the you D-Bags in that nice, beautiful air conditioning yeah. that you have there. In the warehouse of air. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all it, it is. Who cares if there's a game at all? He's just inside a nice, oh, yeah. cool area. They must be just breaking even, right? At the Who's games the Diamondbacks? To, to literally fill that with AC. To have it, to have it air conditioned? I yeah. really yeah. thought they about do, what that it's, a, it's a huge, um, it's a water cooling system. Still it's, costs. It's, yeah, it it's a, a million dollars uh, thir- every 30 seconds. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounded like a real statistic. <laughs> yeah, it really was like <laughs> It's not surprising if it was. It was if, if, I'm sure they're not doing it. But did you like the stadium at all? It's beautiful. These guys really? got to go. I didn't get to check. Yeah, oh, it's so you, nice. Like, you feel bad. Does it feel big? Yeah, it's, it's huge. Too like, big. What is it, 38,000 or something? It's 47. 50, 47. Yeah, 47. Yeah. And they had 51 at the Yeah, at the, at the series. The big game. Like, I felt bad getting drunk. Like, I felt like <laughs> this Why? isn't. Because it's such a classy place. I didn't want to <laughs> trash it. Like, I. <laughs> I'm, used to, trash it just I'm a Cubs fan. I drink at Wrigley. That Same field has stood up for like a century. <laughs> yeah, you trash that place. It's built on puke and old yeah, style. Yeah, there's just yeah. vomit stains in there. Yeah. It's culture, but I vomit yeah. there. I'd clean it up. Like, <laughs> You'd actually feel bad about yeah, leaving I'd a mess. Yeah, i feel bad with See, I, I struggle with it because I'm a Cub fan too, and Wrigley Field is just so leave your leave your cups and everything on the ground. And this one, You like that homey Yeah, this kind one of feels uh, like I'm bothering people. Yeah, we walked in, and it was like just empty. There was nobody there. I was like, oh, we must be performing here tonight. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. He loves it. He loves it. Part. He loves his, he loves his own stuff. By the way, the great thing about us performing here this weekend, if you guys want to come out, right. there's plenty of room to spread out. So, like, if you want to bring coats, <laughs> jackets, baby strollers, yeah. we have room to accommodate Blankets. everybody. Yeah, nothing Blankets. people want to bring more than coats and jackets today. Yeah. 117. So, it was just, the worst day ever yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Awful. Yeah. Are you guys coping with that okay, or are you just in the hotel room just doing trying it? Trying to stay inside. Yeah. Yeah. We, got a fun, we golfed yesterday. You guys want to go golfing today? Let's go. Yeah. You went golf golfing yeah. today. Yeah. When two o'clock, it was great. Get once it gets, to, yeah, once it gets to the top peak temperature, it stays that way. Steve so just, jumped rope outside yesterday for twenty minutes. If I want to be miserable for two hours, I'll just watch just like us <laughs> <laughs> in the air conditioning. And they'd be out. What have you done in your career yeah. besides take <laughs> shots of people? Tell me one thing that you've yeah, well, accomplished. Gary, in all seriousness, what is the pinnacle of your career? Let's give uh, away some this, wing this right here. This. <laughs> 
This is it, bud. Eighth caller, Wang Chung tickets. Front row. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Seriously, what is like the thing you hang your hat He's on here. the most? This, yeah. is, this is it. This yeah. is the, the I, I'm going to be on un- Comics Unleashed coming up later this fall. That's What's the thing that? I'm looking forward to. Who knows? Exactly. <laughs> they don't even know. I will tell you this. Is we that were... with Byron Allen? Yeah. Yeah, oh, Byron nice. Allen. That's a big He bit. battles other segment. pets. So you recently got a fireplace, right, boy? Yeah. <laughs> whoever would ask that question. <laughs> That's why I love that show. It's because he the segues, the segues are ridiculous. the funniest. The funniest part of the show is the segues. Yeah. That's oh, the that's the comedy. That's what's yeah. unleashed on you. It should be a like, mashup video of just his segues. Oh my god! Have oh, you guys been on that? Have you ever been on it? Oh yeah, we've yeah. all been you desperate all for cash. Everybody, <laughs> everybody but everybody but Gary. Even Byron's not that in the bad. Gary's so bad. Byron won't even have him on. <laughs> Byron won't even have him warm up. That's how bad he is on that show. So we go to. Hawaii. We, we end the tour last year in Hawaii, and we we t- we do this jet ski tour thing or whatever, right. and we all take oh, pictures I on this dock. On and so you perform on jet skis? No, no, no we were just, oh. just <laughs> it's like a Universal Studio <laughs> show. Yeah, it's Miami Vice. <laughs> But we, we took these pictures, you know, they take the touristy pictures and you buy the disc or whatever. Right. And so Gary brought his girlfriend, Michelle, with us. And she, we looked at the picture. She did not smile at all. Would you? In Hawaii. Wow. In front of this clear boot. <laughs> and we're like, why would you when you have to sleep with this? Yeah. <laughs> You're being uncomfortably slowly raped every night of your oh life on God. vacation yeah. by Gary And Cannon. they take like these promo <laughs> photos for you to like buy at the souvenir Right. Counter on your way out or whatever. And while you're out on a jet ski, they catch you at your happiest moment <laughs> where you're grinning. The jet ski's two feet in the air. You're up over a wave and woo! Gary shot, and this is a true story. I don't have the picture to prove it. But you can see Gary smiling and he's looking at first of all, nobody looks at the camera yeah, when the tourist looked at the photographer. He's on the looking dock. at the photographer. In the background is a speedboat barreling towards Gary. <laughs> With nine passengers and this look of horror in all their faces, like why won't this guy get out the way? And he's oblivious. He has but no he's idea. He's found he's a camera. He found a camera. He's posing like at that Sears portrait studio thing, <laughs> right. where he's like hands up on his chin, like like he just there's a, a wagon wheel in the background or a bookshelf. <laughs> yeah, where's Michelle now? She's back in L.A. Battling oh, depression. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say she's at the psychiatrist's office back home. She couldn't make the trip. It was a nice wake. Yeah, yeah it was years. a lovely moment. How long have you been with her? Four years. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Met at a one eight stand. Never seen her smile. Really? Not <laughs> one? Never seen her smile. So That's so because you only see her at our shows. I was just going to say, I was going to it. <laughs> oh, she smiles. Advantage cannon. <laughs> 4 to 15. Theory four. taping. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Sullivan and Sons, Tuesday at TBS. Uh, this weekend at Stand Up Live, you can go see the whole gang. Steve, Ahmed, Roy, and of course, Gary leading it off. Uh, and the, don't, don't let that stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just come in 10 minutes late. Show, show up a little late. He doesn't mind milling around during his set. <laughs> Yeah, if you yeah, shop coming at, Kohl's, at 8.15. Yeah, coming at 8.15 is a perfect <laughs> as time. As soon as he gets off stage. Well, actually, yeah. you do 20, so 8.35. <laughs> oh, there you are. All right. Oh, you got the new joke about Band-Aids. That's right. We've added five Band-Aids. minutes. Come on That's right. Yes. Uh, 480 if you want tickets. Thank you guys for coming in. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you so much. 98 KUP.